Hello there guys, welcome back to Eunice Talks Football. Welcome back to a brand new video. Oh man, we, we need this season to just end, man. I'm, I'm finished, I'm finished, man. How much more can we take? At this point, just how much more can we take? Like, I'm happy that the, it all ends on Sunday. And you know what's crazy? I'm at a point where I'm even thinking, do I even should I, do I even need to cover Sunday? Do I have to watch that game? Do, do I have to? I will. I will. I will. Um, that's that's without doubt. But I'm asking myself why. Why am I? I'm, I am genuinely asking myself, do I bother? Why bother? Why bother? Because even in a game like this, where you set yourself up to just think, yeah, no, you know what? Even if we lose, right? Let let's put out a team that we can learn about. That's what I said in the preview yesterday, and then. And then, and then you lose 4-1. You know, it was 4-0 up until the last bit. And that, that didn't mean anything. You know, the one time we actually do decide to score a goal properly and, and, and it doesn't, doesn't, we don't feel anything. Don't feel anything. Uh, so you ask yourself, do we bother for Sunday? Or do we just write it off and not even show up and just wait for next season? Because that's, that's where we are now, man. As a football club, Ah, oh, the amount of issues, the amount of issues is, is we've lost, we've lost count. We've lost count. After Houston, we have a problem. After Houston, we have a flipping problem. Um, before we get into all the details and what went down in today's calamity, I've got something for you. Yeah, I've come with gifts. Even in a time of despair, I've come with gifts. Check this out. Today's video is brought to you by Surfshark. What is Surfshark? Surfshark is a VPN, a virtual private network with an extremely robust data protection service. What does this mean? It means that all of my photos, my videos, my private messages are all absolutely safe and secure. One key advantage to getting Surfshark is being able to change your location to wherever listed within Surfshark in the world, use any streaming service, especially for the football fan like yourself trying to watch a Saturday 3 p.m. Premier League kickoff that you can't find anywhere on UK TV, go onto your streaming service, go onto Surfshark, change your location to a specific location and voila. Also, there is no limit to how many devices you can use Surfshark on, even at the same time, and it's available on all platforms, including iOS, Android, Microsoft, Fire TV, and more. For all of you watching, Surfshark are offering a mega 83% off and the first three months for free. All you gotta do is use the code YTF to take advantage of this magnificent offer. The link is in the description, hit that link now, use the code YTF and enjoy. Let's get into the rest of the video. Thank you to Surfshark for uh, sponsoring today's video. Let's get cracking. Um, Manchester United 4, Chelsea 1. Um, and where do I begin? Where do <laughs> I am so frazzled from this season that I don't even know where to start anymore. Where I don't even know where to begin. I don't even know what to say. This is, this is what it's come to. There are so many issues now at this in this team. Um, at every single level that I just you, you, you put your hands up and you think we're screwed. We're screwed. We're screwed. Um, let's start with the lineup. I'm going to try and break this down. I'm going to try and break this down as best as I can, right? Let's start with the lineup. The lineup we looked at, and you know what? I saw it and I thought about 9 out of 11, I ain't got a problem with. 8 or 9. 8 or 9. We started off the game with um, Kepringo, the back four of Lewis Hall, Aspie, um, for Fana and Chalaba. I told you in my preview yesterday that I would have had Thiago Silva and Chalaba and 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 no, sorry, Thiago Silva and Fafana and Chalaba as right back. For obvious reasons. And you know you know what? As much as we can come on it, especially after today, and say, look, Aspi Aspi is finished. He's finished. He's finished. Yesterday I waved the white flag, yeah? I waved the white flag. Yeah? We don't need a white flag. We need, we need, we need, uh, you see, you see like at, at the bridge, like on the Champions League night where you have loads of flags, like scattered around the ground. You have like 42,000 flags. We need 42,000 white flags to surrender for Aspie. But even then, even then, when you look at our defenders today, the best performing one, I'm going to put Lewis Hall to the side because Lewis Hall for, for what he can bring actually had somewhat of a decent game. So Lewis Hall to the side. The other three, 
Aspio's the best one. <laughs> talking, talking Jalaba, Fafana, disaster today. And Aspi, Aspi got skinned multiple times, but he was actually the one that did save a goal from happening. Um, got stuck in and got some crunch tackles in, I think two or three times. It's something. For, 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 look, Aspi's heart is in the right place, you can tell his legs can't function anymore. But he, he, it's almost like he drags them across the line. He's like, no, you know what? My legs are not working, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull them with my arms. You know, if I can't run, I will pull them with my arms and make myself run. That's Aspi. So you know what? Fair play, but he is finished. <laughs> he is done. We have to stop playing this guy. We have to stop playing this guy. But as I've said, credit for the little bit that he actually done, which was necessary. For Fana. We we paid 70 million for this guy. <sighs> when you when you when you pay that much money for a player, and he's not the only one. He's not the only one. When you pay that much money for a player and you see like what Bruno done to him, oh, oh that nutmeg. And then the, the he, he well, when he cut back in, he sent him dancing like John Travolta in the 70s. He just he, he done some necks, I don't know, some disco, some disco dance. It's, oh man. <laughs> Painful, absolutely painful. When you see your player get skinned and you can't say anything, it's the worst. It's the worst. So there's that. We went with the midfield of Enzo as the lone six. I mean, Frank. 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 Come on. Come on. Come on. How, how can you play Enzo as the lone six? What, just to play Gallagher and Chukwameka up top? I came up with a solution yesterday. Why do you think I put Loftus-Cheek as part of a double, of a double pivot? Well, I know he's leaving, but what did I say in my preview? I know he's leaving, but he's the only exception here because we have to play someone alongside Enzo and I want Chukwameka ahead. Two plus two is four, not eight, you know? Frank, nah, for Frank, two plus two is 16. You know, nah, Enzo, nah, you can play as a lone six. <laughs> He can't, he can't, he can't, he can't, man. He needs, why do you think we're looking for a six? Why do you think we're looking for a DM? What, a decoration? Come on, man. And then we play Gallagher and Chukwameka up top, and you know what? Chukwameka, fair play. Carney had somewhat of a decent game as well. Lewis Hall, Carney, somewhat decent. Yeah, I, got, I, haven't got, I haven't got anything bad to say about Carney today. And, 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 and we learned in terms of what Carney can bring. I'm sure Potts was watching, and he's like, oh, I, I now know more about Carney, yeah? That was the objective. That was the objective. But Conor Gallagher, oh my God, brother. Oh my, oh man, he's playing against us. He was playing against us, I'm sorry. You were playing against us. You were not playing for Chelsea tonight. You were playing for Manchester United. You signed a contract or something. Uh, what was that, man? Oh man, the amount of times he gave give position away, but possession, so I can't even speak. He, 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 I mean, slipping is not his fault, but the amount of time he lost his footing, um, no pressure, lost his footing. <sighs> I mean, he runs, he runs, he runs. I, I think he's picked the wrong sport. He shouldn't be a footballer. He should be representing Team GB at the Olympics. We'd win, we'd win multiple goals. He would go down as Usain Bolt. Honestly, he'd be, he'd be legendary long distance. We, we have a quality 1,500 meter runner in Conor Gallagher. 100%. You send Conor Gallagher to the Olympics, he is getting you gold time in, time out. Without question. So I think mean, he's picked the wrong sport. I think he's picked the wrong sport. Because on the ball, there's absolutely nothing. Oh man, it's just absolutely painful. And then we get to the front line. We went with Mudrik, Madweke, and, and Kai Havers. I mean Madweke, look, Madweke, I've got something to say about Madweke. He he shows he shows positive signs of what he's trying to do. His execution lets him down. He 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 gets into the right positions, he makes the correct runs. Um he does all of that. He he, he in terms of his 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 potential, his his um What's the word? I'm looking for vocabulary in my head right now. I've got Terminator screening, like matches and all that in my head right now. It's mad. His intention. There we are. His intentions are correct. And he gets halfway to executing it correctly. And then he flops, right? It's whether he misplaces a pass, whether he makes the wrong call, whether he makes, uh, you know, he, he runs a little too far. He passes a little too strong. He's got too much weight on the pass, too little weight on the pass. Those little last minute adjustments, yeah, is what he's lacking. But everything else is positive for Madweke. However, his final execution ends up losing us the ball sometimes. Ends up, you know, you look at that and you think, I hope that can be coached out of him, right? 
Mudrik. <sighs> Mudrik shows less than Madueke, which is weird because Mudrik has more physical attribute compared to Madueke as far as I'm concerned. He's faster and I think he's stronger than Madueke. But he doesn't show it enough. And then you see what he when, when he is on the ball or, or when he is involved in an action and he misses a sitter, he hits a pass straight out for a goal kick. Uh, it, uh, I mean, just overall, just a calamity. At times in that first half, he looked like he was playing against us. You know, and what doesn't help is the immaturity issue that we saw yesterday and beyond that and all of that. That just, that just you know, it, it, it piles up. It piles up. So that doesn't help the cause. And then you get Kai Havertz. Why was Kai Havertz playing today? Why was Kai Havertz playing today? And then answer me this. Once we're 4-0 down, we then bring on Datro Fofana. And before that, we decided to bring on Felix to go up top instead. So it wasn't Fofana that replaced Havertz. It was Felix that replaced Havertz. And then after we went 4-0 down, yet no problem, put Fofana on for eight minutes. This is what I'm saying. We've got players... That are useless. Some that, as I've said, we've got examples today. Lewis Hall, nothing bad to say. Carney, Chukwameka, nothing bad to say. As I've said, in terms of Mudrik and Madweke, more Madweke, I've got less issues with Madweke than I do with Mudrik at the moment. Um, the price tag has to pay a, a thing here. We paid 88 million for Mudrik. You know what I mean? And he doesn't ask for that, absolutely. But what in the blue hell were we thinking paying that money? Whereas you look at Madweke, how much did we pay for Madweke? It was like 30 or 35. I mean, you, you, know, you have some more, you have more leeway there. You know, it's, it's, you have those players that you think, all right, yeah, fair enough. But the rest, I mean, bloody hell. As I've mentioned, the centre-backs, Fofana was a disgrace today. Chalaba looked lost. You go into the midfield, Gallagher, as I already said, was playing against us. Up top, Havertz was playing against us. It's, 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 it's incomprehensible at this point. Enzo, I can't even blame Enzo. I can't even blame Enzo, man. There were, there were a couple of moments where Enzo um, lost possession easy, but he's not a lone six. And you can see some of the passes that he was sending were really, really good. The one he set up for Conor Gallagher, who decided to, set, to send that off to the corner flag. I mean, that tells you everything you need to know. Enzo... Enzo, I think, Enzo needs the correct personnel around him for him to execute correctly. And even then, Enzo sometimes just thought, give me the ball, and he just went for it. You know? You look at the subs after we brought on Jao Felix and we brought on Pulisic to replace Havertz and, and Mudrik. Um, as I already mentioned, Felix coming on to go up top when we had Fofana. Makes zero sense. We, we, we're talking about learning things, you know? Today, we learned about Lewis Hall and we learned about Chukwameka. Fantastic, right? Especially Chukwameka. We actually learned about him today. He played a good 82 minutes. But in terms of others like Datro Fofana, we need to learn about him too. Instead, we didn't and we got battered 4-1. It just doesn't make sense. It does not add up whatsoever. We then bring on Loftus-Cheek to take off Chukwameka. Loftus-Cheek leaving in the summer, going to AC Milan. We bring on Ziyech for Madueke. Ziyech leaving as well. And then we bring on Datro Fofana to take off Gona Gallagher, who somehow survived 82 minutes. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. Honestly. We have so many issues. So many issues. Um, at player level, manager... I mean, look, manager. The manager, the manager situation should be already sorted out. But my goodness, Frank. Frank, please don't manage again. Please don't manage again. You're a quality pundit. Do not go... Do not manage again, please. Just, just end it. End it, man. Um, it would be, it would actually be painful if he went to manage someone else and flopped again. At this, I, I, it would start hurt. It, not like it doesn't hurt already, you know. We already know where it's going, and we already kind of knew what to expect when this whole Frank Lampard thing happened. It was pretty obvious. Let's be honest. It was pretty obvious. Yeah. For the ones of us that were like, no, you know what, I'm not so sure about this, and everyone was talking about vibes, the season was already screwed because of Graham Potter, and I thought, oh, you know what, we'll try and find some vibes. We didn't find any vibes, the situation got worse. You know you know what's crazy? And this is coming from me. If we had known it was going to be Frank Lampard and this would have happened, we could have just kept Graham Potter to the end of the season. And even then, you know, I was calling for Potter to go, and rightfully so, as far as I'm concerned, but that was better than this with Frank Lampard, let's be honest. You know? 
I hope Potch can come in and sort things out. I really, really do. I feel for Potch. I really actually feel for Potch because we we know there is a potential in Potch. We know that there's a certain level with Potch. We know that we will get ourselves back up to the top. I want to say top six. I don't want to say top four because that's not a given. That's not a certainty with some of the teams around there that are playing really, really well. Even with Potch, it's going to be difficult. So there's that. Pot, top six will definitely get ourselves back up to that, but... To, who's, is he going to be the guy to take us further? I have my doubts. And I've said this from the beginning. That's where I'm not sure. But right now, we are so far in the mud. We need a pod to take us back up to even top six. You know, so for that, I actually feel for him. I feel for what he's coming into. You know, and I hope that he can sort things out with these players. The ones that are going to be staying and, and the ones that are going to need his, his help. Let's be honest. Because there are some players that don't belong here. Now, players that we know are staying, that have ability, that I've spoken about, for example, like Madweke, that, that, need, that need brushing up, that need some coaching, that need some um, assistance in terms of how to develop, right? And then there's players. Look, I mean, one thing that disturbs me, when Enzo had that issue with Bruno, um, after the th after the fourth goal was it after the fourth no after the third goal after the penalty, um, Enzo has a problem with with or Kepa and then Enzo afterwards and then no one comes in to try and defend and no no teammate is there to be seen that concerns me man what even even if you from a distance look and go oh no you know what? I think Enzo's messed up you go in and you fend for your teammate. He was getting hounded by five or six Man United players and there was no one there to come in rush to help him. What kind of teammate are you? This is what I'm saying. So in terms of the players, even, even mentally, even, even on that level, it's not there. Oh, we're a mess. We're a mess. It's a, it's a disgrace. It's a disgrace. It's an absolute disgrace. Um, and then, as I've said, from, from, from the top, you know... We spent that much on, on, on Mudrik, and we're seeing this. We spent this much on Fofana, look at the display today. We're spending, we're spending countless amounts of cash, and, and it's, being, it's being shown to just be a, f a fraud. I think we're victims of fraud. You know, we need to contact our bank. <laughs> we need to be, I, I think I've been done here. I think I've been done for fraud. How many times? It turns out, countless times, I've lost count. There were that many on Fraud Watch. You know, so it, it honestly looks like we're operating with no direction. And that's what's concerning. And the performance tonight is what I expected against City. And that tells you, for the ones that were getting happy about losing 1-0 to City, yeah, that tells you exactly where we actually were. City went easy on us with their C team. Let's be real, their C team. Tonight was clear. As crystal. And I'm just happy the season is ending, man. We need... I can't watch this anymore. I can't watch this anymore, man. This is just painful. This is just... Pa this is Chelsea and this is where we are right now, man. <sighs> man. Um, the goals were easy, weren't they? We, we can't even talk about the goals, let's be honest. Because... Two of them... The third and the fourth... No, well, the, the, the second and the fourth were basically training session goals. You know, the first one from Casemiro, set piece, ball into the box, boom, Casemiro, of course, we're rubbish in the air. We don't, we don't do in the air. We can't, we can't jump up in the air. It's impossible. Doesn't happen. Yeah. It's very easy to score against Chelsea. Get a set piece. And that's why I'm concerned for Newcastle because they're bloody good in the air. New United are not even meant to be that good in the air. Let me just put that out there. But tonight, yeah, Casemiro, no problem. Boom. Thank you very much. You know, we can't play the offside trap. Piece of cake. For their second goal, not a problem. Lovely jubbly. We can't... We can't tuck in. We can't close the lines. The, oh, but the space between the lines there. Oh my God, United were playing in between us like it was FIFA. Horrible. Absolutely horrible. For the first 10 minutes, it was disaster. And then from there, for the next 20 or 30, up until just, the, just, just before the end of the first half, it looked like we were showing promise. And then the second half was an absolute calamity. Let players go, positioning all over the place. And I even take this back to Lampard because at times when we were defending, we had three midfielders of Enzo uh, Chukwameka and Gallagher literally sitting on the edge of the box 
with no with, with with the amount of space that was given for the opposition to be able to exploit those plays weren't moving it's like they were strategically positioned to let united through so that's where i looked to lamps because those players looked very very well placed badly do you know what i mean they looked strategically placed terribly <laughs> and it looked like they were keeping some sort of a shape really badly that comes on Frank. That means they're trying to execute what they're being told here. So I can't blame them for that. The amount of space in between those lines, we weren't compact at all. United were playing in between us. We weren't doing anything to rectify. We weren't getting close. We weren't getting tight. Allowing all the space for their runners. They've got runners. They've got Martial. they got Sancho. They had Anthony. They had Rashford after he came on. They're... you got the fun, some of the fastest players in this league and you're going to allow that much space. It's criminal, man. It's criminal. Absolutely criminal. So I'm going to end it there. I'm going to end it there. There's nothing else to say. We need the season to end. I just want the season over. I need the season to finish. Bring on Sunday and let's end it, please. Put us out of our misery. This is enough. <laughs> this is enough. Honestly, let me know what you think down below. Much appreciated. Hit the subscribe button if you are new. Hit the notification button to be notified once I've uploaded. Smash the like button if you somewhat enjoyed this video, let alone at least not the performance. Um, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for a brand new one. Have a good one, people. See you then. Take care. And peace.